Guess who's back? Back again. I'm back. Feeling pretty good. I've been out of it for a while, but now I gotta get back on my grind. You feel me? Anyways, so I got a haircut. You can kind of tell. I cut like three inches off the top. It was getting really long. It was already past my ears, like down here. So had to give it a little snip. And I got a new mic. I don't know if you can tell by the quality of the audio. Probably didn't even notice it. But here's a little sneak peek of how it looks. It's right here. Um, it's not really anything, actually. Sorry about that. But yeah, kicking it up a notch. I've had the mic for a while now, but I recently just bought an adapter so I can hook it up to my phone because I do record on my phone. I don't have a big fancy camera, but you know, I'm upgrading just slowly but surely upgrading. Bro, am I going to have to wear a hat because my hair keeps poking my eyes? All right, so basically what I have for you is four things that you're doing that is damaging your hair and you might not even know about it but that's why i'm here that's why i got you because everybody knows i'm the king of hair it's been proven millions of years ago okay i'm playing but i'm just trying to help you so and sorry if i sound tired because i actually am kind of tired so and the thing that i'm mostly tired of is you yeah you watching this video i'm tired of you no, i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just i'm actually just tired so so don't worry i'm not i'm not tired of you I'm here for you. So how can I get tired of you? We can all agree that I've been talking for too long. So first thing, number one thing that you're doing that is damaging your hair that you might not know is after you shower, drying your hair too aggressively. I don't know if most people do it. I feel like most people do do it. And I actually did it all my life until maybe like two years ago. You know how when you get out the shower and you just put the towel on your head and you're just <laughs> You can't be doing that, bro. That's not good. When you just get out of the shower, your hair is all wet, obviously. When your hair is wet, it's more fragile. So when you're rubbing it aggressively on your head, you're kind of ripping your hairs out. You might not really feel it, but you know, the more aggressive you do it, the more damage you're going to do to your hair. So instead of that, just get the towel and just pat it down on your head just like you do when you wash your face yeah when you're done washing your face you don't really just go <laughs> you pat down on your face you know so you just do the same thing with the hairs on your head just with the towel just bing 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 all right so number two um i'm definitely guilty of i've been called out in the comments before people get mad at me for it i'm just like bro can you chill for a sec because i'm sorry anyways number two is combing your hair while wet yeah like i just said in the last one when your hair is wet it's more fragile and especially with like a comb let me see let me try to get over especially with a comb like this is that dandruff right there that's embarrassing anyways especially with a comb like this on the smaller side it's it's gonna damage your hair more when it's wet um, even this side would probably you know yank your hairs out recently i've been using this one because it's more easier on the hair it doesn't tug as much it's a white tooth comb i haven't really been getting yelled at in the comments i still comb my hair when it's wet with this comb maybe it's not 100 percent safe but i definitely don't get yelled at as much in the comments when i use this but you know recently i just bought this on amazon it's a detangler brush it works with wet and dry hair you know it's in the name it's supposed to detangle your hair and it works pretty good actually even when the hair is wet it doesn't really tug on the hair like like you see some people do with some people you could literally hear all their hairs being yanked out especially if their hair is wet but with this thing not really a problem i bought one of these for my girlfriend because she's always yanking out her hairs with all of her brushes and i'm telling her bro you're gonna yank out all your hairs if you keep doing that so I just bought her one of these and I was like, let me just buy myself one of these too, because why not? So yeah, it's a pretty good product and it's not even expensive either. I think it was like 10 bucks on Amazon. So yeah, don't, don't brush your hair or comb your hair when it's wet because you're going to yank all your hairs out, bro. See, look, she usually used to comb her hair all the time with my round brush, which I used to kind of think is weird. It's, it's a round brush. I mean, I guess it's still a brush, but it's a round brush. And, but she's still just like, mm. actually it's, it's natural for hair to shed off. Anytime you're combing, you're probably going to get some hair off because you know, hair sheds naturally, but that's a lot of hair. All right. And tip number three is using too much heat on your hair. 
you know, like a blow dryer or an iron. And I said it before too on my my last video before this one. If you're using too much heat, I will go to your doorstep and I'll give you a warning, you know. Like bro, you're using too much heat. You can't be can't be doing that. You're gonna damage your hair like that. Sorry about my dog if you hear him barking. He barks at all the cats out there. So yeah, like just like I said in my other video, it's okay to use heat, but just not, you know, like an everyday thing. And maybe you can, I guess depending on your hair, you know, how strong it is. Maybe you can get away with it because I definitely used heat every single day. And I didn't know it was damaging my hair either. I guess that was a reason why I did it because I didn't think it was damaging my hair. I had this hairstyle. I wanted to go for like a Justin Bieber or like a Zayn Malik hairstyle. I'll, every single day I would get the round brush and just swoop it up like that, you know, just like... And there is heat protectant sprays that I would definitely recommend. I don't know if it's still like, I think it's still pretty damaging if you do it every single day, you know? Just don't use too much heat on your hair and you will be good. Last tip, number four, is kind of common sense, but number four is not using conditioner. Like I said, it's, it's kind of common sense, but I remember when I was little, I never even knew what conditioner was. So I never used it. I would just shampoo my hair, rinse it off and boom wash my body and I'm done but shampoo kind of you know strips all your hair away from you know any products you put in it and also like natural oils in it so after you shampoo your hair you're gonna need to put the conditioner to hydrate your hair back so it won't be so rough and so dry so yeah shampoo and conditioner I know probably a lot of y'all are thinking like oh that's common sense George what the heck that's not even a tip but you know, just for the few people out there who don't even use conditioner like I once did. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for the video. These were my four tips. Hope this video was helpful. And if it wasn't helpful, then I'm sorry. I'll try again next time. You can help me out and subscribe if you want to. My dogs are about to go crazy, so I gotta wrap it up real quick. I'll see y'all in the next one. I don't know when exactly that's gonna be, but I'll see you on the next one. So thank you for watching. If you even made it this far, if you made it to the end, say in the comments, George, why you fly as heck, bro? That's how I know you made it to the end. And I appreciate that. Peace. See y'all later. Here's my mic. I don't want to get too close because it really does a good job at picking up sound so why are you so obsessed with me